This video will be about Angular 4 pipes. I will go through the available built-in pipes and give an example for each. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now for free tutorials and computer-related tips. And now, let us get started. So what are Angular pipes? Pipes are a way to convert, filter, or transform one data to another format. For example, you can use a pipe to convert all your strings to uppercase. Earlier in Angular 1, the same function was there under filter. In Angular 2 and 4, they come with built-in pipes, a variety to use without writing any extra code. You can also create your own pipes to use them later in your code. So for this tutorial, I created a new project using ng-new. And then I opened it using the sublime text and I'm running it here on the browser. So first let us open the inside source app and then inside the component TypeScript. I'm going to add just a string called name and inside it I'm going to put some name here. Then I'm going to save it and run it from the HTML. Let us start by the first pipe which is uppercase. After the name, if you put pipe and then upper case and I save it, everything gonna be in the uppercase without adding any code. You can do the same by adding instead of uppercase, you can do the same using lowercase. So now we have another one which is lowercase. There is another pipe called currency. So under the name, I'm going to put something called, for example, price. And inside price, I'm going to put 233.25. And then in the HTML, I'm just going to print it and say like price is. And I open the braces and I put here the price. And after that, I close it and I save it. And here it's just a number without showing anything. So if you add here the currency as a pipe and after that you put a column and then you say USD dollars for example and you save it now showing all the time USD. Another pipe is the percent pipe. So let us go again to the TypeScript and I'm going to add score equals for example 10 divided by 40. I'm going to save it, go back again to the HTML, and I say score is, and you put here score, and if you save it like that, it's going to show 25, but if you add that pipe and you say percent, it's going to show 25%. Another important pipe is the date. So let us here start a new date and say like for example today date equals new date. Sorry it should be capital. And then I'm going to save it and inside the HTML I'm going to type it here like Today is, again, we open the braces and we put the one I created is today date. Like that, it's coming very long. You can add a date to have it in a readable, in a human readable format. So you just add date and you save it and you get it in that format. There are a lot of other options that you can add for the date. So for example, if I place here date and then after date, I put again the column and then you specify that you want it to have like the month, then the day and the year. And if you save it, you're going to have it again here in another format that you specified. You can also add the time the same way. So I'm going to add another line again and after the year, I'm going to leave a space and put, for example, hours and then minutes and then save again. 
and here you have the hours and the minutes. There are also some other ready-made optional parameters like the short date and the full date. So let us try this. So I'm going to copy the date, and paste it here. And again, we put the com, and then we put here short date. Let us save it. You get it that way without specifying anything. And again, there is something else called full full date. So I'm going to change the short with full date and save it. And you're getting the full date. Also, always remember that you can combine the pipes together. So I'm going to take, for example, the full date. And after that, I can add after the full date another pipe and I say uppercase. And I save it. And I'm getting it again with capital, all capital. So that's it for today, guys. And in the next video, we'll be discussing how to create your own pipe. Thanks. Bye.